With cars and planes, it's easy to miss great communities as we zip on by, but so many towns were created because of the railroad, and the town of Bunky is one of those. Most places, you know, the railroad passed through and, and the people settled. So, you know, and that's how the Delta towns of Louisiana, and, and Bunky being one of them, and Cheneyville, and if you just, you know, everywhere if you go to these little towns, everybody had a depot, and we were fortunate enough to keep ours. That's Gerard Morrow, the former mayor of Bunky. They saved the building almost 20 years ago, and it's now in the National Historic Registry and the home of the Bunky Chamber of Commerce. He says the town gathered tons of railroad items, and now they're on display at the train station. You know, as I'm looking around the walls, I forget what's in here, but there's a ton of history here uh, dating back from probably before the town was named. Bunky, that's an unusual name. Where'd that come from? Bunky got its name from a young girl who had a, a toy monkey. And uh, she was in the Hayes family, and uh, she had a trouble pronouncing the word monkey, and she called it her Bunky. So therefore, her, uh, her family decided to name the settlement area uh, Bunky. Most kids ride the bus to school, but can you imagine catching a train? I remember Gladford Goo telling me as a young boy, uh, he grew up three or four blocks from here, but he caught a train every morning and rode to Alexandria and went to Menard High School and rode back every afternoon. And if the train operators needed to receive messages, there wasn't any texting back then. And there would Mr. Lejeune, he'd be standing outside with that, with that long pole with the Y on it and tied between the two ends is a message. And he would hold this pole out like this and uh, when the train was coming and then there would be a guy, one of the engineers would be on the front of the train leaning out as far as he could with his arm out and he'd catch the message. Something you don't see much today is a caboose. A local who worked for the Union Pacific convincing the company to move a caboose from Houston to Bunky. Now what exactly was the purpose of a caboose? There was a guy in the caboose all the time taking care of paperwork but you know in, in time they, 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 they shortened the, the crew on the train for, for whatever reasons and then they did away with the car. It's an excess car to pull. So while you're in Bunky, take in some transportation history. I'm Dave Baker for Acadiana's News Channel.